this as IBM Museum. And I'm going to be ignoring most of the stuff on the bench for now because there's an item that I want to look inside. So let me get um, off the internal webcam, get turned around so I'm on the camcorder. And I do have the system going for the background screen. I'll go ahead in a moment and plug in that USB microscope in just a moment as well. But what I wanted to look at, this is the external keypad for the PS2 L40SX. And it just goes through and it daisy chains from the mouse connection on the L40SX to an RJ45 connector. And then it has a connection for the, the PS2 to mouse pass through. So this is the external keypad that we'll be working on. Kind of looking it over. And then underneath on the other side, this is so this is an R2 model M3. I have all the part number and everything else there. And unfortunately, the screws are beneath these feet. So that's going to be the first thing that we're going to go through and do to pull these out. And hopefully they'll retain enough sticky that they can be put on. Each one of them should be like that. And we see in there that it's a slotted screw. I've got screwdrivers around that I can go through and do that. And I'll try and keep in relative view of the the camera as I as I do this. We're halfway there with the feet and getting them off complete. Um, and it seems like they still have at least some sticky, um, coating that will be able to put them back in place once we go to the point of sealing this unit back up. And this one's a little bit more challenging. In fact, it's leaving... It's leaving more of a, the, okay, so there it comes, pull the other way. That screw is closer to the surface. That kind of took up that, that pad a little bit um, worse than the others. And I don't know if it, it's just because this is at the, on the one side of the unit that the screws are closer to the surface or not as far down in that deep well. And there's the last one. That one is just about the same. So those are a little bit closer to the, uh, to the surface. And let's get just a little slotted screwdriver out here. And just loosen. Yeah, the ones towards the, the back of the keypad are so much more recessed okay with them loose 
it should start to okay so here's the lid the cover and just going through to where the I think I've got all the screws out loose enough exception of maybe that one corner and I was just hoping that the well I'd hope hoping that the cover would come off not necessarily to uh, drop like that but there's the cover um, looks like it just has some pins Inside there, I'm not sure how that necessarily rotates. And then, and I don't want to lose the screws at all. This is the other corner that I was hoping to. Okay. So we're going to go through and we're going to. Plug those two and try and get, well, we had one screw drop into my hand. I don't know if the other, kind of like, and all those screws are all the same length. I don't know if it dropped into bag at my feet or not but I didn't hear it of course these are noise canceling headphones there it is so I've got all four screws not losing any parts here's the just kind of spinning it up that's interesting for What is that? Is that just like a cushion? Maybe taped with in place. Maybe that just puts pressure on the circuit board. Because the circuit board can come out. There's the housing for that. And I'm interested in the circuit board, and I don't want to go through and detach anything from the keypad, but there's the controller and the keypad. Let's get a little bit closer up view of that. And, of course, we open it, and we notice, I mean, I've got my ring light on and things like that. Look at that. Kind of like a residue across. But there's the controller. The residue is more visible that way. And that's an ADC51BH. microcontroller from Intel, and then it's got uh, programming on there from IBM. Okay, so these are the capacitors that I've, I wanted to look at. And to the human eye, those look pretty good. The, um, And I'll go through and okay, pull the cap. 
off of that. And let's start the camera app. Look at that ship a little bit more. There's definitely a kind of a residue across that that goes through and okay, so let's look at capacitors are on the other side of this. And the reason I'm doing this is I've seen the insides of this, these um, external keypads here lately. And it was where these capacitors, I do have a capacitance meter. I could go through and pull them and test them. But those look actually pretty, pretty good. Even though we're seeing residue on the chip. And granted, I'm, I'm seeing things a little bit better uh, than you can on the camcorder. Okay, let's look at the smaller one. Okay, so there is a little bit of concern, probably. Can't think of a. Let's see if I can. Adjust things in. Yeah. And there's a little bit of uh, coding out from that. And it actually looks more, um, more washed out on the camcorder. the picture than what I'm seeing on the screen itself. And I don't know why it's going through and washing out or how that'll show on video. Let's look at the crystal in the center. And I've used this camcorder before for getting close in shots too. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see if And that, so the big one looks pretty good. I should have collected the images of the ones I've seen just to show. And there's the crystal in the center. And then that little one though.
that sure looks like a, where a little bit of residue was. And it's like almost like the, the liquid venting. And maybe coating that microcontroller. Okay, so there's I don't know, it'd probably still probably be pretty good to pull those and test them. Now, a big one looks pretty good, but around that little one looks a little bit more suspicious. And then on the underside of the board. And definitely having some gunk. I wonder if that's anything from that adhesive foot, though. That's a pretty good look. And I, what I've been hearing is that the these um, go through and short the across, and then they they trip the fuse. That's for the, the mouse port on the L40SX. So that was a pretty good look inside. I'll go through and get back on camera. I'll have to decide how much more I go through and investigate that. And so, if you thought that that was informed of me looking through, I I should have gone through and actually archived some pictures and shown those up um, for what others were seeing um, before I went through and examined mine. Um, but I'm going to check it out a little bit further, especially that small cap, and just kind of see if things are the way that they're supposed to be. See if it reads uh, proper capacitance. And if not, go through and replace it before I have any issue. Um, I didn't go through on my L40SX, and I, I had the mouse daisy chained off of that, but I didn't really go through and test a little bit further to see if it was going through and recognize it. On my main L40SX, um, it's got uh, hard drive issues, and so I'll have to work with that. Probably a, a DOM module or come up with some kind of compact flash arrangement for that uh, to uh, to go through and work with it. So, but that was a pretty good video, I thought, or at least uh, going over this particular segment. And if you enjoyed it, click on that like button, please. Subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already. Recommend it to your friends that might be interested in this sort of content too. But this is IBM Museum. That's all I have for now. Thank you.